As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? <laughs> the only reason Mikan knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Ah! Oh. Are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Ah! Forgive me! Huh? Wrong! Wrong! No, no, that's not it at all! That's not it? I mean... It's impossible! You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now! What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute! That tote bag... Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! Until you forgive me! That bag is a limited item! <laughs> That's why that crime is impossible for anyone to pull off. This chick, has she lost it for good? Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? Do you understand? 
Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. You're done for! Forgive me! Forgive me! Why only me? You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. Please, draw on me! Do you understand? only one back. It's impossible to use it in two places at the same time! This is the end! Monokuma mentioned this earlier. Whoever bought that back should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. Why? Why can't you forgive me? Why? It seems her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Nikon, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning, and show that you have no arguments left. Please, just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Give up!
Here's everything that happened in this case. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music venue. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music venue, so I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time, when in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music venue and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Hyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko and me. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. They made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? She's laughing? Ah, it's been such a long time. This feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing. Like the sky is falling down upon you. This feeling of despair! M Mikon, you... What has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time.
It seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go! Give you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> What's going on? Hey, hey. Oh, that's obvious. What? I... Perhaps... See?
could be? This is... Understand? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! So it's over. It's really... Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them. Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. 
Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Let me ask. Damn it! What? Isn't that right? <laughs> Just as I thought. Hmm. However... Uh... Fine. Right! 
<laughs> oh. Unbelievable. Um. Hey! No way! What's this? for me could it be huh what the yo I've kept you waiting hey what's going on perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while that's pretty sad you know that's too much <laughs> um who are you Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you... noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! The name's Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! The name's Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! N nekomaru Is that you? <laughs> no matter how you look at it, I'm still me! No matter how we look at it, this isn't you at all! Yeesh! <laughs> you
I already know. <laughs> Damn it. S sorry. <laughs> You serious? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey. You Get out! I'm intact! I have no injuries at all! Hey, hey! <sighs> no! Thank you! <laughs> Uh-huh. 
This, too, must be the will of causality. <laughs> Fine. If you flinch, you will die! Right. Hey. I won't be fooled! <laughs> Man. <laughs> you think so? Huh? It's obvious. Well. Hey. Oh! 
Don't fuck with me! You're so evil! <laughs> I'll beat you up! Hajime. <laughs> what? to get pumped up! I... Thank you. 